Hey guys, so I want to talk with you about something. There are individuals that will ask God to forgive them for things, but yet they don't want to make things right in areas where they have offended and hurt people. There are people who leave their husbands and their wives under very bad circumstances, cheated, lied, whatever, manipulated, and then they get together and they go join a church and get involved in ministry and leave everybody else in the dust and in the carnage. There are people who do that type of stuff and they get together and they think that they can drown out their the conviction and drown out their sin by, okay, we're going to go here, we're going to build a church and we're going to do this. And you find a man and a woman who have committed adultery, broken up their homes and their families. They went to ask God for forgiveness and they're just on this road, start a church, do all this stuff and it's growing and it's thriving and it seems good, but they have not dealt with the people that they've hurt. And one of the things you need to realize is God will forgive you for some things and some things you just need to leave alone. But when you've done some things where people are still hurting, someone's reputation has been ruined because of you, you have falsely accused a person of something, you have lied on your spouse about some things just so you can get that divorce, you lied to your children about things concerning your ex and now your children hates their mom and they hate their dad because of things that you told them that was not true, things that you made up so that they can now accept another man in their lives. God sees all those things, but you have a demographic of people who moves on with their lives and say, God, forgive me, but they will not ask the person they have hurt for forgiveness. They won't ask the individuals that they have used and abused. They will not say, they will not say, I'm sorry. And so what they try to do, these individuals, will they go to church, go to church, go to church, go to church and try to build up on it, try to cover it all up. I'm going to get involved. I'm going to donate to the church. I'm going to, I'm going to help with the youth. I'm going to help to build this. I'm going to go fly over here. I'm going to do this. But God sees that stink. Dead flies causes the, dead flies in an ointment causes it to stink. And God sees that thing inside of you. And we can't deter and hide from those things. Now you have to use wisdom. You don't want to be emotional and go and pick up the phone and open a door that you shouldn't have. Because some things you have asked the Lord to forgive you. You want to make it right. And God will tell you what you need to do. But more often than not, when you have ruined a person's reputation and you have lied on somebody and you've really done a person wrong, you just took off and you hurt them and you did these things. Sometimes people don't want to go back to that because they don't want to deal with it. So they're like, Lord, just forgive me for everything. But you will not ask the person that you've hurt to forgive you. You have to remember that person, you may ask God to forgive you, but then you're still the person that you've hurt. He, that's his creation. He still hears the, the cries and the hurt of your wife or your ex-husband, ex-wife. He still sees the, the constant depression that this person is going through because of what you've done. They're a soul. He loves them too. He sees how hard this person is having it in their lives because you up and took all their money and you took off with their money and their investments. You did this. And now you think you can use that stolen money and put it into the church and God's going to forgive you. But he's seen this person trying to pick up the pieces to their lives. He see the pe this person that's lost all, they, they've, they've lost all they had. They had to, they lost their home because of you. They lost their property because of you. They lost their job because you lied. They lost their job because you lied and claimed that this person raped you when it was consensual. You lied and said the person did something. You just called up the person's job to be vindictive and you got them fired because you were angry that they broke up with you or you were just jealous. God sees that. So people think that they can just go and say, oh, God, forgive me. But then they're going to leave people still in carnage. Some things, guys, you can just say, Lord, forgive me, but other things you need to fix. Just like the Bible says, the person that used to steal, a person that steals because they're hungry, don't destroy them. But let him put his hands to work and to build back whatever he's stolen. And some things, guys, when you do it, God, you're going to have to fix it. You're going to have to make certain things right. And now you have to be very careful with this and you want to be led by the spirit of God in what to do.
Now, some of you, you have convinced yourself that the Lord told you, oh, my child, don't worry about it. Ten, nine times out of ten, that's you and not God, because you don't want to deal with that situation. You don't want to deal with the reality of what you've done. You can't move on in your life building and saying, God bless me, God bless me, when you have destroyed other people. Had to change locations. You have to be willing to be honest and truthful and face what you've done. And in cases, make amends. Fix the damage that you have caused other people because they are souls. Too often people think that they can just religion their way out of stuff. They think they can carry out these religious rites, religious acts, and God's going to just forget about what you've done to this next person. No, he has not forgotten what you've done. He has not forgot about the woman that you abandoned and won't claim the children. No, he has not forgotten about how you went across town and you, 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 you're living this double life, triple life, how you hurt somebody else's wife. You are married, but you did something to get back at somebody else's wife because you want her husband. He sees those things. He sees the people you abandon. He sees the people that you leave behind because he sees and hears their pain and the things that they're going through. And there are many people who are open in churches and they're involved in things and they've joined organizations within the church. And because of lack of discernment, they're just there. And they're dark. There's a lot of Ananias and Sapphires up in the church. They just haven't been struck yet. But they're dishonest individuals. And they think they can go before God with this dishonesty in their heart. Not dealing with the matter. Yes, God forgives you, but you have to really want, when you want forgiveness, you must be willing to also do the right things that the Lord places in your heart that you need to take care of. Asking the Lord to forgive you is also saying, I was wrong for what I did. And if God requires you to do something to make things correct and to right that wrong, forgiveness is being willing to obey the Lord in whatever direction he sends you in or whatever he tells you to do to make it right, even if that means a confession. And no amount of churching, no amount of how, uh, uh, building a church and preaching and teaching and prophesying is going to cause the Lord to lose sight of that sin that was committed.